is this? Spider Bake Sale. All proceeds go to real spiders. Let's see, living. Hmm. What's this? I don't have that much gold, though. Maybe. Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy something. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. Oh, okay. What do these actually do? Spider donut heals 12 HP. A donut made with spider cider in the batter. Eh, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. What about the monster candy? Monster candy heals 10 HP, has a distinct non-licorice flavor. see. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. Four spiders. Of sp- Oh god. <laughs> Spider cannibalism. Ribbit ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least, Ribbit. Well, he's right. There are only three. Ribbit, ribbit. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Uh, very helpful. Very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. Ooh, that's deep. That's very deep. Hello? I just realized it has been a while since I have cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. So is she like aware that we've left now, or...? Whoa! What the hell is that? That looks... Looks? <laughs> okay, um... Let's pick on him. You rude little snipe. Hey, I'm not a snipe. Ooh, that actually kind of hurt. Uh, maybe I don't pick on him? Finally, someone gets it. Oh, and it seems like if you're, like, nicer to them, like, the attacks are easier to, uh... Yeah, they're easier to avoid. Well, guess what? He's actually, uh, happy now, so... I think I can spare him, so let's go ahead and spare him. Ooh, we get some gold for sparing him, too. I'd love to see that. There is just one switch. Why do I have a feeling that the switch is underground? Oh! Oh, there it is. Hey, it's you! I fell down a hole. Now I can't get up. Go on without me. Wait. Ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh, well. Naps to look. Why? <laughs> Vegetoid came out of the earth. Uh, I should probably, uh... I might use one of my monster candies here just so I can get some more health. Contains vitamin A. Oh, that wasn't too hard to avoid. I probably didn't need to heal. Um... Devour. Talk. Dinner. Plants can't talk, dummy. Oh, you're talking right now! <laughs> you pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens! Oh, wow. He can actually heal you. Cackle. Oh, okay. I can spare him now. Um, before I do, though, devour. You took a bite out of Vegetoid. You oh! Oh, I killed him, though! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Sorry, Vegetoid. Kind of want to get these items, though. So there's one over here. 
I'll probably get into a few more fights. It seems like the fights are really, like, quick, though, which is nice. Okay. Here, let me... Let me actually do this, uh, properly. Okay. Now we can spare him. So yeah, maybe I'll try to, like, kill one and then spare one. I'll do something like that. That might actually work. So like I've officially I've officially spared one, so I'm not I'm not terrible. I'm not a terrible human being. Farmed locally, very locally. Okay. I kinda like the action commands too, how it's like just like a meter and if you get towards the middle. Smells like steamed carrots and peas. You won. Hooray. Your love increased. Okay, I'm level 2 now. So I probably have a little more HP that I can use to, uh... They have just to work with, I guess. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Hmm. I see. If you can read this, press the blue switch. I don't see a blue switch anymore. No! Not these two goofuses. Well, whatever. I'm stronger now, so... Please don't pick on me. Oh, man. This will be a lot harder, though. Maybe I should spare one of these guys. Just so I don't get, like, terribly beaten up. Whoa! What are those things? How about a staring contest? Let's see. Don't pick on. And spare you. See, I got experience and gold out of that. So maybe I have to press the blue switch in here. It's a switch. Press it. Yes. Nothing happened. Maybe there's a blue switch behind the pillars. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, it's a rotation. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, we have a weird bunny thing. Migosp. I'm gonna kill the Vegetoid. Again, I really like how it's like both of them kind of attack at once. I'm sure that could be, like, hell later on in the game, but still, like, just the fact that... It's, it's just a cool little detail. Wait, why is he... Ah, oh, whatever. La la, just be yourself. Aw, oh, he was dancing! Doesn't have a care in the world. Oh, I can spare him already. Um, hiya! I'm dancing with you. Yeah, let's spare you. So I guess for some of them, you can just, like, uh, ignore them, I suppose. If you can read this, press the red switch. Well, that's... it's over here. You hear a clicking sound. You love a good clicking sound. If you can read this, press the green switch. So the red one's usually closest to the door, so this is probably the green one. That'd be my guess. Okay, so I need some help. I'm probably gonna kill the... Um... Yeah, let, let me actually devour... Oh, it wasn't weakened enough? Oh man, that's actually kind of brutal. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Okay, healthy meal. 
Give me the greens. Okay. Let's spare you. I could probably just spare this guy now, too, but, um... Haven't destroyed one of these guys yet. That was also kind of a cool detail, how, like, you could just eat the Vegetoid and get, like, all your health back. Kind of interesting. Ugh, two paths, really? But which one is the right one? This looks like progression. So I'll go here first. Ooh, what's this? You found a toy knife. What does that actually do, though? Toy knife. Toy knife. Weapon at three. Oh, weapon attack three. Made of plastic. A rarity nowadays. So I guess that's an equip. Maybe, I, maybe my attacks are stronger now if I use that. You equip the toy knife. Uh, what did I have before that? A stick. <laughs> that whole time I was using a stick... It worked, but yeah, kind of surprises me a little bit. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer. Come, small one. Oh, and I can actually heal here. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Aww. You bet it does. You bet it does. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here, so I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Aw, cool. We have a room. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Oh, shame. Shame. A box of kids' shoes and this disparity of sizes. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. Oh, I guess I'm just sleeping now. Aw, oh, there's the pie! You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Well, isn't that just adorable? What do we got in here? It's Toriel's diary. Sure. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling b b bonely. <laughs> the rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Definitely bigger than a twin size bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. You peek inside. Sc oh, scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. <laughs> oh my god. The uh, I think the humor of this game is going to be uh, definitely uh, keeping me interested the whole way through for sure. Just a regular old bucket of sna- oh, okay. That's some scandalous socks we found, though. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Oh. But I want to see the room! It's probably a nice room. Oh, hi. Up already, I see. 
Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Ooh, um... Probably shouldn't bring this up right now. Well, talk to me again if you need anything. I think she's getting kind of attached to me, and that's probably not great. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar on the fridge. Can I have it? <laughs> I want it. <laughs> There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Oh yeah, she does have kind of fire magic, doesn't she? Okay, so I have a feeling oh, this is not going to be good. I think we have to leave. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Okay. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I think we have to do this. I have to do something. Stay here. Okay, well, uh... She changed the subject very, very quickly. Did she go to her scandalous sock drawer in here? No. Maybe she went... Uh, she probably went downstairs. Um... Let's go ahead and save... do this. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Um, that was uh, kind of weird. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh my... Oh no. I don't want to fight her. Can I... You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh man, that's going to be hard to avoid. Uh, Toriel prepares a magical attack. He tried to think of something to say again, but... Oh no. Oh god. Toriel is acting aloof. Um, ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation. Oh god. Ooh, I got really hurt right there. Um... Let me eat some candy. Man, this is actually a lot harder to avoid than you think it would be. Uh... Okay, talking's not the solution. Oh 
man, I don't think this is the solution either. Well, hmm. There was that Vegetoid that if you weakened it, you could do more actions, so maybe I have to weaken Toriel or something. Man, I'm low on freaking health again. See, I like this attack. That attack's pretty easy to avoid, but the other one is like really, really hard for some reason. Uh, ironically, talking does not seem to be as... Okay, damn it. Oh, come on! I still got hits! Dots, though. Oh no! I died! Man, that actually is pretty hard, honestly. You cannot give up just yet, Slim. Stay determined. Okay, I guess I'll just cut back there. Yeah, I'll go ahead and cut back there. Okay, I'm back here again. I'm gonna try to... spare option again, because again, they're being very clear that talking is not the solution. Man, how do I avoid that? It just seems like ridiculously hard to dodge. You really have to find like those very low, uh, those very low spaces you can squeeze through. That just seems like so freaking intense. Now I'm honestly getting kind of worried about what'll be for the rest of the game if like I'm having so much trouble with this part. Oh, I have the pie still. Oh, perfect. I didn't realize I had that. Okay. It's about half health. I'm thinking that maybe at half health is when she, like, maybe changes. But no, she's being, like, very firm about this. Well, she wants us to prove ourselves. Maybe we have to get, like, her really, really low on health before we do this. use another item. My god, this is like... Yeah, she's like not changing at all. Deep 
breath. Throw you. What? Did I just get a critical attack? You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually you will reach an exit. Asgor, do not let Asgor take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? My child. No! I didn't want to kill her! But like nothing was happening. Like, the dialogue wasn't changing at all. I had to have been doing something wrong. Like... Oh, that, that actually makes me sad a little bit. I did not want her to die. Oh, that's really sad. Oh. So she's just gone. Yeah, there there has to be a way to survive her, but like This is my first playthrough, so like I should definitely be going through this like just you know, not trying to redo anything. Yeah, let's do it. Let's move on. Oh, man. That, that really bums me out. Seriously. Now I kind of see what people are talking about with this being just a very emotional game. When you have stuff like that to deal with. My God.